What's up, y'all? My name is Ray. If you're here for the first time, welcome. And to my returning viewers, I am humbled to welcome you back for another video. Today, my friends, we're watching Mirrors of War, Season 1, Episode 5, titled Buck Hall. And y'all know I'm excited. Before we begin, we're going to take a few minutes to review Episode 4, talk about some of my thoughts headed into this next installment. Also, guys, if you enjoy hanging out today, please leave a like on the video and check out my Patreon if you're interested in full-length reactions or you want to have your name in my videos, that kind of thing. So, episode four. I feel like you could make the case that maybe not a lot happened plot-wise in episode four, but I feel like if you're watching the show for the characters and their development, there was still a lot you could really sink your teeth into and a lot we could get excited about. So, let's start with the first scene. Um, we get confirmation that it's Raja who is having an affair with Bina, we also get a hint that Bina might get pregnant, which, of course, then she would claim is Colleen's baby, and Colleen would have no real reason to suspect otherwise. We do see that Baoji is not necessarily suspicious, but is at least somewhat aware of possible dissatisfaction in Akanda and Bina's marriage. Um, that could lead to suspicion down the line, especially if Bina turns up pregnant, all of a sudden after trying for some time with Colleen and not being successful. Um, so more to come on that. That's really interesting. We get a lot of development on Goodoo's character and Bablu for that matter, but especially Goodoo um, throughout this episode. First, we see them kind of embracing some of the gangster antics where they're kind of taking advantage of a merchant. They're not paying their bill, that kind of thing. Um, it's just a little bit more of a window into their personality and how they're adapting to this life of crime. Um, Gudu, we also see, well, I'll skip from Gudu, I'll skip to, to Sweetie here because it ties in with Gudu. And I also think Sweetie is one of the key components of this episode and a key component going forward. Um, what we're going to see play out as far as this triangle situation she's in. I wouldn't call it a love triangle because she's not in love with two people. It's not like that. Um, it, but it is a, a triangular predicament she's in where She's affectionate for Gudu. Gudu likes her quite a bit, but Muna is extremely toxic and powerful and influential, and he is obsessed with her, and she wants nothing to do with him. Then you add to that the, you know, the the conflict between Muna and Gudu, which is sort of being resolved as far as Muna is kind of reaching out to him a little bit and you know getting him steroids now. Which God, that's a whole other thing, um, but. You know, if, if he finds out that it's Gudu and Sweetie messing around, that could explode. We could see something really bad happen to Sweetie. And I'm I'm worried about this, both from Muna's toxicity and from Gudu's now steroid use, which is just going to increase his impulsiveness and his aggression um, and perhaps jealousy, rage, those kind of things that typically negatively accompany stuff like steroids we're going to see start playing into his character who is already impulsive and violent. So Sweetie is just in a dangerous spot and I'm, I'm very curious to see where that goes. We also got to see Mr. Pandit this episode, which I was really excited about. He's my favorite lawyer and I was glad to see him in the show. Um, he was not on screen for a long time, but it was an awesome scene with the father and the uncle of the slain groom from episode one showing up to withdraw their case. Right. And they came to do it respectfully. They wrote him a letter and they came to do it respectfully in person. But they're sitting there waiting for Mr. Pandit. And sure enough, Gudu and Bablu walk in and there's this big reveal that, yeah, those thugs that intimidated you are actually the sons of the lawyer who was going to represent you. It's a really tense, confusing scene. It's really cool. Um, and, you know, they scamper off and you know, Mr. Pandit, being no fool, can smell something is going on here, and he can put two and two together. Um, and so can Dimpy. And we see that Dimpy doesn't want to accept a gift from Gudu and Bablu bought with dirty money. She says she's staying on Mr. Pandit's side. Really cool stuff there. I'm interested to see where that goes. Um, and Mr. Pandit remains my favorite character. We see Gudu and Sweetie go on a date, um, which is really cool. You see, like, some sparks flying there. That's a lot of fun. Um, and interestingly enough, we see perhaps the beginning of some sparks between Bablu and Galu, which would be really cool. Um, you know, they both, they bond together about being, you know, uh, both into the same poetry, 
they're both like top of the honor roll kind of students. Um, and of course their siblings are, are, you know, kindling a, a ro potential romance. So um, there's a lot to happen there. I, I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, we also see Lala and Muna meet to discuss the prices of the silk. Um, and we see that Muna has no problem skimming off the top there and lying to his father. We also get um, what is maybe the third, fourth, or even fifth real big hint that Muna wants to overthrow Colleen, wants to eventually have Colleen killed. He's not content to wait for his inheritance. Um, we see that he, um, you know, even in episode one where he's like kicking the the uh, the license plate that says Colleen Baya, you know, he's all pissed off. And then he's like, you know, compounder, you shouldn't leech off other people's power. And then in episode two, you know, Colleen walks out of the room and Moon is like, that's why I'm waiting, you know, just waiting for my inheritance. Episode three, we see him and Bina having a suspicious conversation about, you know, how much longer Colleen has. And then, of course, in episode four, Compounder is like, hey, I'll even co kill Colleen for you. And, you know, Muna has to feign like he's offended or something. But we see very shortly thereafter that he is amenable to the idea and is like, hey, will you go all the way when the time comes? And Compounder says, yes, I will. So Colleen is in a bit of danger here as well. I don't know when Muna would deign to make a move, but um, it could be coming. It could be coming soon. Um, I'm really enjoying Gudu's transformation into a gangster here. Um, you see his naivety falling away, that childish naivety that he had. Not a lot of, but just a little bit. Um, we're seeing that fall away as he embraces more of an adult gangster uh, demeanor. Um, I am... I said before, I'm scared what the steroids will do to his character. We're really, um, we're in some dangerous territory there. And that brings us to the climax and the final scene of episode four, which is where Colleen has them kill someone. He has them kill one of the thugs that uh, Rati Shankar sent to assassinate him. Um, this is an awesome scene. It is extremely tense and emotional and gripping. Um, we see real struggle in both Gudu and Bablu's character and how they deal with that struggle differently and uh, how that struggle manifests itself in their characters differently. Um, Bablu does well uh, to not completely collapse and, and be useless. Like he gets a shot in, he pukes, but he, he, he makes it, right? He makes it through. Gudu ends up embracing the moment and really, you know, becomes a killer in that scene. Um, awesome scene. And that leaves us to the final moments where they're in a truck and the truck has the bodies in it and they get pulled over by the police and the policeman is about to open the back of this truck. And, uh, Bob Lou is struggling with the literal blood on his hands while also dealing with the figurative blood on his hands. I really thought that was interesting the way they did that. Um, I was certain that Gudu was going to pop this, uh, police officer and throw him in the back of the truck. But watching the episode back, the way they're leading us up to that moment and then dropping at the end of the episode, I feel like it might be a rope -a dope I'm not sure. I feel like I see, I don't know how Bob Lou would be able to cover up all that blood so quickly unless he like rolled one of the carpets out and, and like sat on it or something. But I, I really, I, I really think he's going to pop him and put him in the back of the truck, but, yeah, I see. I could talk myself in circles about this. I think he is, and I think he's not, and I think he is, and I think he's not. I can't wait to find out. I'm ready to get into episode five. So, without any further delay, let's check out Mir Zapor, season one, episode five, titled Bakal. <laughs> अरे कागज नहीं दिखाई क्या साहब को हैं ये क्या है अरे साहब पता नहीं कौन चूतिया ये पानी का जर्किन इस कालीन के ऊपर छोड़ के चला गया गिर गया फिर और ये जितना भी लाल वाला कालीन है ये सब रंग छोड़ दिया निकलो Woo! 
<laughs> Ooh. I'll use the gun, you use your brain. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, whoa. Oh, come on, man. Take it easy. Ooh, man. Man. They're really showing us that that's going to be a problem. Still studying. अब देंगे हमको कंप्यूटर कब से वेट कर रहे हैं थोड़ा काम निपटा लें नहीं लो यार तुम नहीं जा रहा था Hit the weights, man. Hit the weights. This is a pretty guard, Baba. Get up, thing. Do it, huh? Hand off the trigger, bro. Hit the weights, hit the weights. There you go. There you go. Burn off some of that energy, man. You gotta burn it off. Woo! Oh, man. Trouble, dude. Trouble. Lots of trouble. <laughs> I'm worried about him. I can't believe they pulled that shit off, by the way. I cannot believe Bob Lou was able to to wing that. They, um, I mean, you know, he's good who said, I'll use the, the gun, you use your mind. And, and that time they were able to get out of it using Bob Lou's charisma and his quick thinking. But man, that was a bloody carpet. He had blood all over his hands. That was, that was close. That was clever. And that was very, very close. Ah, right, there we go. My line. What's me, guy? Hold it, take it, Smooth, very smooth. Good dude looks pretty badass on that bike, I gotta say. Pretty awesome. Late to new way. No, we just have to go. Rajan Misra? We were going to get a bubble or a guddu. We'll call Usman Bhai. Usman Bhai. Usman Bhai. महीनों से व्यापार डाउन है मुकेरी बाजार में कहे अरे क्या बताएं साली सारी झंडूगंज हमारे ही किस्मत में आ रही हैं चाहे फट जा रही हैं नहीं तो जाम हो जा रही हैं अब एक के बाद एक कस्टमर वापस करके जा रहा है अब जब कस्टमर चीज वापस करेगा तो पैसा तो लौटाना ही पड़ेगा ना क्या करें क्वालिटी कंट्रोल मैन क्वालिटी कंट्रोल दो साल पहले शादी हुआ है लीजिए ना असल में पानी के साथ देने के लिए मिठाई विठाई नहीं था घर में तो चीनी दे दिया उसने परिवार में कौन कौन है माँ बाबू जी तुम्हार में बीवी के परिवार में कौन कौन है जौनपुर से है ना वो और साला भी है ना तुम्हारा हम्म हाँ हाँ तुम्हारा काल रिकार्ड निकलना है यही वो साले साहब ना जिनसे लंबी चौड़ी बातचीत चलती है तुम्हारी हर हफ्ते हाँ तो इससे क्या मतलब और हर हफ्ते तुम्हारे साले साहब एक संदूक लेके आते हैं और एक वापस भी ले जाते हैं 
अरे उसमें घर का सामान वामान रहता है और क्या Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. I'm like sweating. Holy shit. Unko chhod diya na. Aaj chhod diye. Ye le aaye. Bahar jayenge lene. Yahi to deal kiye hain jinda. Jesus Christ. Are Gupta? Sending it to the chief minister, but we know the chief minister is in on these shady deals. पूजा समाप्त हुआ प्रसाद खाएं दशरा दीजिए स्वास्थ्य के मीन्स समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट इन द वेस्ट दैट्स फॉर श्योर एक्सेल मेक्स द वर्ल्ड गो राउंड और क्या क्या सोचा है स्टाइल बदलना पड़ेगा कालीन भैया कबूतरों से डीलिंग करने का और थोड़ी सिस्टम की सफाई भी करनी पड़ेगी व्यापार तभी आगे बढ़ पाएगा और क्या क्या करें भैया जी इन बुलेट्स के काम के लिए आप औरतें और बच्चों को रख लीजिए वो मिली नहीं पेंगे औरतें टाइम से अपना काम भी खत्म करेंगी उनको अपने घर जाके अपनी रसोई और अपने बच्चों को भी संभालना होता है लगवा दीजिएगा कहीं पर सिर्फ का टाइम भी बताती रहेगी नमस्ते भैया ये मकबूल के भांजे हैं बाबर आप लोग साथ में रखिए इनको काम हम सिखाइए जी इनके बस की कुछ नहीं है अपनी पढ़ाई भी पूरी नहीं की है मकबूल फैमिली फैमिली होती है चाहे जैसी भी हो उसके साथ खड़ा होना पड़ता है <laughs> एक बात कान खोल कर सुन लो बाबर मियाँ जी अगर काम हाथ में लिए हो तो वफादारी से करना उससे बढ़कर कुछ नहीं हमारे व्यापार में क्या एडवाइस है तुम्हारा कबूतरों के लिए भैया जी हम चाहते हैं कि सारे कबूतरों को दावत पे बुलाया जाए पाबलू मैन पाबलू इज गेट द ब्रेन सभी लोग आरती के लिए खड़े हो जाइएगा ओम जय जगदीश हरे स्वामी जय जगदीश हरे कुछ मैसेज देना चाहते दीजिए देंगे खाना तो खा लो कुछ जरूरी बात तो हमने कुछ निर्णय किया एक नया सिस्टम लाने आज के बाद कोई भी कबूतर क्रेडिट पे कट्टा नहीं उठाएगा सिर्फ कैश पेमेंट लेकिन भैया जी उधर आप कैश पे माल देंगे और इधर ये लोग हम लोगों से हर हफ्ता पैसा उठाते हैं आज के बाद आपसे पुलिस वाला पैसा नहीं उठाएगा भैया जी अरे गुप्ता जी आप खाना खाइए खाने के बाद पान खाएंगे ना बात हो जाएगी भैया जी झंडू गन का क्या करेंगे जी उस्मान भाई उसका भी कुछ ना कुछ कर लेंगे हम I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. What is this? Khana bahut badhiya banwa. Last feast motherfucker. Ah. 
आखिरी खाना बढ़िया होना चाहिए क्या है ना जौनपुर से कोई भी कनेक्शन मंजूर नहीं है Quit standing there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. 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 <laughs> जितना कट्टा बाजार में बिकेगा उतना ही हिस्सा आपको भी मिलेगा yeah, get off from some compensation. नए संबंध नए समीकरण की शुरुआत है पान खिलाइए इनको बबलू मनी यस सर कट्टे फाट सकते हैं अरे आप क्वालिटी डिपार्टमेंट के हेड हैं वो बात है जी क्वालिटी सही रखे होंगे तो काहे पटेंगे वो डेढ़ हजार वाला लो बाबलू इज टेकिंग टू दिस वेरी वेल रुको 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 यूज योर राइट हैंड या यूज योर राइट हैंड लेफ्ट हैंड से काहे निशाना लगा रहे हो राइट में एक टॉल ले लो लीजिए लीजिए चलिए डिनर इज गिन टेस्ट रियली गुड तो फटने तो नहीं चाहिए बट फिर ये काय फट जाते हैं बताइए using lower quality material dekhiye dhoondiye koi na koi dikkat zarur milegi aur jab tak nahi milegi tab tak hum aise hi quality check karte rahenge theek hai chalte hain woo ab hum jo truck wale pipe hai na nahi yep. bhulwa payenge cleaning it up abhi हाथ रहेंगे ना तभी ना खाएंगे भोसड़ी वाले हम ही से ही कट्टा चलवा रहे थे पंडित जी कितनी चिट्ठियां लिखेंगे आप बैलेंस <laughs> बहुत बढ़ गया है सर ऐसे तो शहरी खत्म हो जाएगा ना अभी आपको तो बेटर मालूम होगा हम तो सुने हैं पंडित जी की आप ही दोनों लड़के बवाल मचाए हुए हैं देखिए आप हमारे पुराने मित्र हैं हम बचपन से देखे हैं उन लोगों को उम्मीद करते हैं कि आप जल्दी ही उनको रोक लेंगे समझ रहे हैं ना आप ओ बॉय अरे आगे बनना भैया दुल्हन का घूंघट उठाइए हाँ चलो भाई नहीं दादी हमको कुछ नहीं बोर्ड हम लोगों की जरूरी मीटिंग चल रही है तुम जाओ खाना खा के सो जाओ नाउ वी नो कंपाउंडर्स नेम आई एम वर्ड फॉर स्वीटी मैन आई एम टेलिंग यू महंगे लगते हैं ये गोलू तो लौटा दीजिए अगर आप अनकंफर्टेबल हैं तो अनकंफर्टेबल तो नहीं है बस सीरियस तो हम हो जाएं लेकिन पापा के क्या करेंगे हम हैं ना साथ में टाइम आएगा तो खड़े रहेंगे गुरु हट दो मटका कुल्फी लव द किड आई एम ग्लैड वी गेट टू सी हिम अगेन हम की इयरिंग तुम्हारी वजह से इयरिंग हम ना एकदम सिंपल टाइप के आदमी हैं 
लिए तुम ले ली बहन मिली हो तो बात आगे बढ़ रही है तो अब हम तुमको कुछ सीधे सीधे बताते हैं हम ना वायलेंस में इन्वॉल्व हैं हमारे अपने रीजन है उसके लिए अगर तुमको ये रिंग वापस करना है तो अभी कर लो हम बुरा नहीं मानेंगे हम भी ना सिंपल टाइप की लड़की हैं चाहे वापस कर दे यार मुझे अच्छे लगे हैं तुम ही तो बोल गन से हमें टेंशन नहीं है बचपन से देखे बस तुम अपना ध्यान तो रखोगे ना अपना नहीं तुम्हारा भी ध्यान रख लेंगे स्वीटी Oh, I have this like worrisome feeling in my heart. Oh, I have this like pit in my stomach, man. Acha bhaiya zara suno. To isme se kapde bilkul matlab dry ho ke nikalte hain. Matlab nikalo aur pehen lo. Thoda sukhana padega aunty ji, lekin ekdam top model hai. Dimpi kahan hai? Teeli ki yahan gayi hai notes laane. Tumko maloom hai Mirzapur mein itni raat ko safe nahi hai fir bhi tumne danne ki koi zarurat nahi hai papa. Haath to laga ke dekh Dimpi ko koi. Ha, hum to bhool hi gaye the. Oh. उसके भाई गुंडा जो बन गए आप <laughs> नई चीजें आना शुरू हुई ऊपर से आप ही अरे चीजें कितनी नहीं ले आओ रोटी तो गेहूं की खाओगे ना हाँ लेकिन रोटी के साथ दाल की जगह चिकन तो खा सकते हैं हो गया भैया तुम खा लो चिकन दे वो मिस्टर पेंडे ऑलरेडी स्ट्रॉन्ग फील हो रहा है He's reading the poetry. He's reading the same poetry that Galu is reading. Very cool transition. Yeah, Mirzapur ke famous history seater. Kidney par chain khichne wale local gunde chor. शहर के सबसे बड़े कमी ने बुलाए कीजिए जो बात करनी भैया जी कोई दिक्कत है क्या हम तो कालीन भैया को पैसा टाइम टाइम पे देते आए वफादारी के साथ वफादार हैं इसलिए तो आप सबको यहाँ बुलाए देखिए हमारा व्यापार है कट्टा बनाना और आपका है कट्टा चलाना है कि नहीं तो अगर हमने कट्टे बनाने बंद कर दिए तो फिर आप चलाएंगे क्या घंटा हम चलाएंगे नहीं आप भी बना कर क्या करेंगे घंटा शाबाश <laughs> तो दोनों का सर्वाइवल जो है वो एक दूसरे से जुड़ा है हमको कट्टे का प्रोडक्शन बढ़ाना है तुम लोग को कट्टा ज्यादा चलाना पड़ेगा हमारे पास जितना कट्टा है उतना ही चलाएंगे ना और हम में से कईयों के पास तो कट्टा है ही नहीं जितना चाहे उठा लो बुलेट्स द बुलेट्स शर्त ये है कि कट्टे चलते रहने चाहिए ठीक है जी भैया जी और एक चीज हो सकता है कि पुलिस एक आध बार आप लोगों को पकड़ेगी भी लेकिन आप लोगों को कोई ज्यादा दिक्कत नहीं आएगी इसकी गारंटी हमारी जी भैया जी तो जहर ठंडा पड़ा है गरम कीजिए देखना भैया जी इस बार दिवाली होगी मिर्जापुर में गुडर इज हैविंग वे टू मच फन मैन मैकबुल कीप एन आई ऑन दीस किड्स क्या सोच के फ्री में कट्टे बांट दिए रिजल्ट निकलेगा इसकी क्या गारंटी है और हमसे एक बार पूछे भी नहीं वो कालीन भाइयों को हमेशा लूप में रखे हैं मुन्ना भाई थोड़ा सा पेशेंस रखिए देखिए रिजल्ट निकलेगा बहुत जल्द देखिए हम लोग अभी सिर्फ सप्लाई बढ़ाए हैं एक बार उन लोगों के मुंह पे भी खून लगेगा तो उन लोगों की भी डिमांड बढ़ेगी और अपना भाव भी आप बस प्रोडक्शन वालों से बोल दीजिए ओवर टाइम के लिए रेडी रहें मुना इज गोन टू स्टार्ट गेटिंग पुश्ड आउट हियर इन दोनों लड़कों का कुछ कीजिए बहुत नुकसान हो रहा है हमको नहीं दिख रहा है ऑल दोस परसेंटेजेस ही वाज स्कीमिंग करते हैं जी Mm-hmm.
They could put something in those supplements they're giving Gudu. Personal touch. Wow. Damn. No dirty money, man. But this house is mine. Tell him, Mr. Pandit. Vasuda. <laughs> Because I can. Stop chugging those pills, man. Or Pantain? Huh? Yeah, I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. पूछ के रख देंगे सारी उंगलियां और कपड़ियां में डाल देंगे गोली समझे हम वो गुड्डू नहीं है जो लिबे लिबे करते थे हमारी मम्मी को चाहिए पुलिज्जत 
Get your act together, bro. I'm saying, get the old damn hobby team. I'm so much guy. I'm so much guy, good boy. Yeah, or tomorrow, no, poor, 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 हमारे मरने के बाद भी पंचायत पंडित जी के घर पे राशन फ्री ही जाएगा समझे क्या <laughs> और कोई सेवा पंडित भाभी जी कितना <laughs> दिन डोंट पॉप ऑफ मैन Take it easy. Don't. Oh, okay. Watch the bullets, bro. Gudu Pandit, Bablu Pandit, is sehar me rehna hai. To ye do naam yaad rakh lo, Iya. Jaisa chahenge, usda pura vaisa hi chalega. क्या भैया जी हमसे केस ले रहे हैं आप उधर हिस्ट्री सीट रोक आप फ्री में कट्टे बाट रहे हैं ये थोड़ा इंतजार कीजिए उस्मान भैया व्यापार बढ़ने वाला है आपका लेटिंग द टाउन रन अमक दो Oh! Woo! Oh, at a wedding? Look, you have two or four people who have been stolen. Let's write for that. The knowledge was your own. So, for your knowledge, you can do something for your knowledge. Oh, the cops are now in on it. Look, when you're scared, you don't need to be scared of people who are scared. डरने वालों को भी हथियार रखने पड़ेंगे डिफेंस के अटैक में भी गन डिफेंस में भी गन हम बनाएंगे मिर्जापुर को अमेरिका अमेरिका एवरीवन हैज गन्स हियर ब्रो इफ यू डोंट नो ऑफ कोर्स यू नो एवरीबॉडी नोस एवरीवन हियर हैज गन्स एवरीबॉडी हियर हैज गन्स चल ऐसे निकाल टेल मी ही हैज गॉट अ गन Nice. Oh shit. Yes. Woo. Damn. Damn. This mahine ka crime rate kafi gir gaya hai. Crime darj hi nahi karenge to I was going to say yeah, cooking the books, cooking the books. Poor Mr. Pandit. I'm having so much fun, but my heart is breaking for Mr. Pandit who just wants to do things the right way. सोच रहे हैं ये गुड्डू बबलू को कालीन के व्यापार में इन्वॉल्व कर ही लेते हैं अच्छा रिजल्ट दिया है दोनों ने कुल मिलाकर का अच्छा संतुलन है मैगबुल्स कंसर्न बात कहे कालीन भैया या मैगबुल्स गॉट अ लिटिल कंसर्न गुड्डू बबलू बहुत तेजी से ऊपर आए हमको लगता है मुन्ना बाबू साइड लाइन महसूस कर रहे हैं मूर्ख है मुन्ना बाबू जो साइड लाइन महसूस कर रहे हैं मैगबुल्स स्मार्ट और अल्टीमेटली ये व्यापार तो उन्हीं के पास जाना है Mm. Look now. आप तो याद था सर अब भाई तुमसे काम करवाना हो तो बिना इसलिए कैसे करवाएंगे <laughs> अरे स्ट्रॉबेरी है सर वनीला से थोड़ा आगे बढ़िए आगे देखिए <laughs> अच्छी है कैसी है भोकाल है सर <laughs> <laughs> तो ऐसा मौर्य साहब ब्लड शेड हो रहा है मिर्जापुर में और यूपी में इलेक्शन का समय लखनऊ में अफरा तफरी मची हुई है तो ऊपर से ऑर्डर आए हैं कि आपको 
मिर्जापुर भी जाता है Who is this guy? तो सही है जाइए और ओके Who is this guy? We have a new, you know, policeman protagonist. Hmm. Maria, I believe was his name. Okay. Okay. All right. Good shit, man. Good shit all around. Um, that was a lot of fun. So we got to see a big expansion of Guru and Bablu's involvement in the gun distribution business, which was great. I think we're seeing, um, and Colleen mentions it as well, right? We're seeing such a great combination of their characteristics to um, to expand the gun business and uh, to clean it up, to clean up the quality control, to clean up a lot of these places where there was a few percent here, a few percent there. There was, uh, you know, backdoor deals with John Poor. There was these little places where just money and profit was getting squeezed and getting lost and getting redirected. And they're coming in and they're cleaning it up um, and they're doing a great job. Goodoo, we can all see what's happening with Goodoo here. It's equal parts fun and awesome and cool to see him embrace this gangster life and equal parts very worrying and concerning that he's um overdoing it with the supplements um his his impulsiveness is getting you know to maximum here we're getting almost fully out of control he's not completely out of control yet but he's like right there um i can't believe he got out of that room alive by the way where he had to execute like 15 dudes and like half of them were armed um, that was crazy. Uh, I like that Magbul is concerned. He's keeping an eye on things. Magbul is seeing from the outside. He's seeing that Bablu and Gudu are shooting up the ranks. Muna might feel alienated, which could lead Muna. I mean, Magbul is no fool. This could lead Muna, any number two person who starts feeling marginalized, um, it creates risk for him to take a shot at the number one guy. The fact that Muna is a little snot anyway um, just makes it worse. Crazy scene with him in Compounder. Um, gosh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into this whole episode. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> let me save this for the pre-episode chat for episode six because I have a lot I want to talk about. Um, I think we have more fun in those pre-episode chats. Um, man, what a great episode! What a great time! What a great series! Stick with me for the next episode, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like on the video. Check out my Patreon, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Um, thank you again for being here. I hope I see you all again soon. Peace out.